Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I move and ask unanimous consent that the Senate rescind its action in accepting the House's invitation to meet in joint session on April 13th. Madam Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. We have a, um, a long process. The culmination is tomorrow. Uh, the candidates for uh, who've been appointed and are awaiting confirmation are all waiting, ready to roll. Um, I think that it's our, it's our constitutional obligation to meet in joint session and address the confirmation of the governor's appointees, and we're ready to do it and should happen tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I just want to remind folks that this doesn't keep those that have been appointed from uh, moving forward on their action. It just uh, doesn't confirm them in the process. But the reality of it is this is often an all-day process. We have a couple days left. We want it to be dedicated to key legislation to get that across the finish line. And uh, we will reschedule um, that session so that we can confirm or not confirm um, appointees of the governor um, after the 90th day. Thank you. Mr. Majority Leader, other comments? Senator Wilikowski? Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. I object to the motion. This uh, tomorrow will be day 87. We've had 87 <laughs> days to evaluate these appointees. Uh, these are appointees uh, ranging from Attorney General to uh, all the way down, boards and commissions, there are dozens of people who have been waiting for this day. We've had uh, 87 days to have hearings. We've had hearings. There are hearings going on today. Uh, there's simply no reason to do this. We always do this um, around this time. And uh, I've never, since I've been here, seen a, a postponement of a confirmation hearings, uh, certainly not beyond day 90. Uh, the, the people have voted that we should finish our business within 90th day, the 90th day. I don't, this will certainly push us back beyond that 90th day. And uh, these are people who, uh, in many cases, have taken, uh, have, have, well, for example, the Attorney General left uh, a, a job that probably pays a heck of a lot more and uh, is, is dedicating her, life, her, her, her time now to public service. And uh, they have a right to know whether they're going to be confirmed or not. They have a right. To, uh, they've been waiting for 87 days through the, all through the session. They've gone through hearings. Uh, the public has had an opportunity to weigh in. Tomorrow is the day that we've expected that this would happen. This was something that we set months ago, quite frankly, this hearing for tomorrow. So I just see absolutely no reason to delay this, Mr. President. And I would uh, urge the body to reject this. Thank you. Further comments? Brings the question of rescinding. Shall the Senate rescind the action in accepting the House invitation to joint session on April 13th? Members may proceed to vote. <clears throat> any senator, has any senator failed to vote? Secretary will lock the roll. Does any senator wish to change their vote? Secretary will record the vote. Secretary will tally the vote. 14 yeas, 5 nays. So by a vote of 14 yeas and 5 nays, the Senate has rescinded its action to accept uh, the invitation for the House to meet in joint session on April 13th. That brings before us the underlying question, shall the Senate accept the House invitation to joint session on April 13th? Madam and Order Leader. Oh, okay. Did you, did you have a question or comment? Okay. All right. <laughs> Members may proceed to vote. Has any senator failed to vote? Secretary will lock the roll. Does any senator wish to change their vote? Secretary will record the vote. Secretary will tally the vote. Five yeas, 15 nays. And so by a vote of five yeas and 15 nays, the Senate has rejected the invitation to join the House in joint session on April 13th. Mr. Majority Leader. 